The USS Hopper made its first port call to Saipan. The warship is a more common sight as the new administration aims to increase military tourism while pivoting away from the China market. And my governor, Arno Palacios. This is what we're talking about. You know, uh, we've had this, Lieutenant Governor and I have had these conversations with with uh, Seventh Fleet and trying to get uh, our sailors into Saipan for our, a little bit of an R&R. &R. The ship's home port is Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, where it left in October for a scheduled six-month deployment. 325 sailors are on board. Commanding officer of the USS Hopper, Commander Corey Millis. We've been in and out of uh, all the seas around. I think we've been spent a lot of time in the Philippine Sea patrolling and just ensuring a free and open Indo-Pacific. We've been up as far as into the Sea of Japan and the South China Sea already, and uh, we've got many more miles to sail before this deployment is over. Uh, we're we're happy that uh, they they they're ported and and are going to be here for what, four or five days. So yeah, you will hear, you will be seeing the. And the, the, our, our Department of Defense folks. Most of the crew will spend their time on Saipan off the ship, at local hotels, restaurants, and beaches. It's a much needed boost to the economy. And my Lieutenant Governor, David Apatang. Let's come back again and, uh, you know, so you have the opportunity to visit the other island like Tinian and Rodan. Uh, I'm sure that you enjoy our coming home. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.